it is evening in my garden. We are going to be putting out some ladybugs. Can you see them in there? Ooh, lots of ladybugs. There's lots of dead ones too, but I guess you're going to get that. Um, I was going to order them online, but I decided to go to my local uh, feed store and to see if they had any. And they actually did in the cooler. And it says, please release in the evening. And the only directions it really gives is to um, uh, water your garden in the evening. The sun is getting ready to go down. So it's shady here. I've watered and um, I don't believe, um, it says put about half in there. And they're already getting really, really, really um, moving around really good. So if you see, you know what ladybugs look like, correct? I'll put a picture right here. I'll put a picture up right there. Okay, so that's what a ladybug looks like. Their larva looks like a little, like a little spiky. They call it a little spiky um, alligator. Um is how they describe it. Little tiny black alligators with orange spots. So, I mean, I don't know. Who am I to argue, right? So I'm going to break this off. The only other thing it says is to put half in your garden and then wait a few days because you're going to have some that are going to fly away and leave. And then um, some will stay and eat your bugs that you have. I do have something eating my some of my leaves are making little holes and I'll take a, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I found out what they are. They're little flat beetles, little tiny flat beetles. And if I could find a picture of those, cause I don't have any in here right now because I've picked them off and squished them. I've only found about five, but those five have done some really good damage. And it looks like, um, they look like I took a hole punch to my leaves. So, I'll show you, but that's how I describe it to Scott. And he's like, that's just totally weird. I'm like, well, yeah, they're eating my leaves. So um, we want to get these guys taken care of. I hope the ladybugs will take care of those too. But if not, it's working right now, me going around and squishing them. Um, but I could see where they could devastate a garden very quickly because just overnight, it was one plant. The next night, it was three plants that they had gotten to the leaves. So we gotta, you know, be very vigilant about this. So I'm gonna release a few of these and I'm gonna show you, I'll probably put them down here in with my tomato plants because that's where I'm having some of my problem with the beetles. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, they're all moving around in there, ready to come out. Here we go, oh yeah. Look at them all in there. Get in there, get in there. Okay, if you can see, can you see those? Oh, they're coming alive. They've been in the fridge. You're supposed to keep them cold. So we're gonna let a few of them out. We'll let them out here. Hopefully you guys can see. Where do I have you pointed? All right. So they're wanting to come out. Come out, guys. Woo, look at them. Oh, and I thought a lot of them were dead, but I don't know. It's looking like they're pretty alive to me. And I don't know how I'm going to just get half of these guys out of here. They were so excited to be out. <laughs> but um, I don't know where to hold it because they're like all over the place. I just want a spot. There they go. They're falling out. This guy's on my hand. <sighs> get on one of the leaves. There's water down there. There's water. Oh, they're crawling on me. <laughs> look at my, look at me. They're crawling all over me. All right, get down there, guys. Eat all the bad guys, okay? Wow. There's supposed to be 500, and I would say there's quite a few. So, woohoo. Go eat the bad guys. Oh, yeah. They're going to like it because I got water and they probably haven't had water for a while. Get out there, guys. They'd rather climb on me. <laughs> there you 
you go. Get right on there. There's probably all kinds of bugaboos for you to eat. So there's a few dead in the bottom, but the majority are alive. Majority are alive. to check the garden to see if we had ladybugs and we still have ladybugs. They seem to really like this corner and they seem to really like the basil plant. But these guys are pretty cool. So let's talk about ladybugs for a minute. Ladybugs actually aren't really bugs. They're they're really beetles. Um so they used to be called lady beetles. I don't know, probably many different names, but they're actually beetles. They're pretty cool. Now there are like uh, 5,000 different kinds of beetles or ladybugs in the world and 500 in the United States. That's pretty crazy. I'll put up a picture here of the commonly seen around uh, Asian beetle and the ladybug. The Asian beetle you'll find in your house, we had them last year. They go in the corners and they cluster up in the corners. Um, they're really annoying little buggers. And they make a mess in your house uh, in the corners. You just wanted to fly away. So I got uh, a couple on my nasturtiums. There's a bunch on my basil. They love the basil. The uh, marigolds that are over here, they love the marigolds. And I've seen a couple on the tomatoes. And I have not seen any more of those little flat beetles that, um, that I have been having trouble with and they've been eating my leaves. So that's a good thing. And reading up on these beetles, these guys are eating machines. They're crazy. They can eat up to 500 aphids in a lifetime. It, that's amazing to me. They're just such tiny little creatures. So, um, but they love, they love uh, aphids and their eggs. They love mites, spiders, um, all different kinds of things like that. I, I'm just amazed at what they eat in the garden. They really are a gardener's best friend as far as, uh, besides the worms, which I really love, keeping the soil nice and fresh and fluffy and opened up, um, and using their, their compost to keep it, keep it fed. Um, they really are a gardener's best friend as far as that goes, um, eating the bugs and stuff. So there's four stages a ladybug goes through. So you have your egg stage, your larva stage, the one where they're long and they look like, um, they call them tiny alligators because they look like they have spikes all over them and stuff. And then you have your, um, your pupa, which is, uh, it, it turns into like this little round guy that comes out of the larva. And then eventually it will turn into the ladybug. Um, so it's pretty cool the process that it goes through to get to what it looks like. Dragonflies are a predator of ladybugs. Birds, dragonflies, wasps, uh, bigger spiders. So that's kind of a bummer because I have all those things here. I have a bird house right with birds in it, right where I let the ladybugs go. So. That's kind of a bummer. So we have birds here. We definitely have dragonflies, thank goodness, because they get rid of the mosquitoes. 
Uh, we have spiders, and some of them can be big for sure. Um, big enough to eat ladybug for sure. So, um, yeah. In, in researching ladybugs, they're a pretty cool bug to bring into your garden, I think. They came last year, but they were a little late in coming. Um, they didn't come until the fall. And I really wanted them here earlier because they don't last very long and they'll lay their eggs. And I'm hoping that introducing them into the garden now, they'll, they'll lay their eggs and they'll um, uh, just keep coming. So when they lay their eggs, it's usually in the fall, uh, they will um, sense that it's getting colder and it's time to mate, and then they hibernate after they mate. So adult bugs live from one to two months up to a year, which is pretty cool. Um, probably not a year around here, but maybe. I mean, maybe they can last through the winter. They do cluster up together to stay warm in the winter time or when it's cold. And they can find places like rotten logs and under rocks and sometimes in your house to stay warm for the winter where they hibernate. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited to see the ladybugs are still here the next day. Um, they're crawling all over the place and they're venturing out and I'm finding them in different places than where I put them last night. It's pretty exciting and it's pretty interesting to look up and see how beneficial they are to the garden and to getting rid of um, unwanted pests. So um, I'm just pretty excited about it. And, you know, I'm hoping if you find that you're having trouble in your garden, that maybe if you add a few ladybugs, maybe put them out here now so that they can lay some eggs and maybe um, get, them, get them introduced into your garden before you have a problem. And maybe they'll help get rid of the eggs of the problem pests. Mostly it's the squash bugs. They were on my cucumbers last year and on my um, zucchini last year, which was a pain. And uh, and it was hard to keep up with once they just got blown up. So I'm hoping the ladybugs will help me squash them down a little bit so that I can then maybe squash them the rest of them down that they can't get. But it sounds like they're machines and uh, that hopefully they'll take care of most of my problems around here. And um, I don't know, I'm pretty excited to see how much they'll help. And if not, they're just a pretty thing to have in the, in the garden. And um, it's just fun to, to find out new things about something that's been around for a while, but it's new to me. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. So they didn't say anything about chickens being a predator to ladybugs, but they probably are. <laughs>